Okay, let's talk about deployment for a second. Um, when we're building a, a view application using Webpack, um, one of the problems that arises is when we when we build the package using the uh, the Node package builder. Um, one of the things that happens is that it it packages out and it sends it to a distribution folder called DIST. Now, that folder is um, a little bit messed up in the fashion that that everything inside ends up referencing the distribution folder except that we end up having a switch in there that references uh, all of our tags to root so we end up getting something that will actually not run if you just slam the distribution folder into your into your website because some of your some of your uh, um, mapped uh, JavaScript and CSS files and and the map files that go with them end up being routed so that when it's looking for them they're looking for them off the root directory when in fact they're in the distribution directory now of course you can move all these around and that's fine but there's a better way and let me show you when we're doing our build we can look at our configuration and look at the index uh, JS and this is how it how it sets up everything to run off our index.html. So if we look real quick, we've got our distribution right here showing DIST. But if we wanted to set that up so that it actually went to a folder of our desire, and let's use this crypto compare uh, project that I just completed uh, as an example. What we'll do is we'll name the folder the same thing that we would in our web directory so maybe it's crypto compare we want the assets root to be the exact same thing crypto compare and then our assets uh, public path and this is what ends up messing some stuff up if it puts that slash in for in front of everything well that references root it doesn't reference its its current position so everything within references is off root and unless you're slamming this all into the root directory and taking it out of the distribution directory then everything gets kind of muddled up so we just kind of take that slash out there so it doesn't put anything in front of our in front of our assets uh, as far as a directory and that way everything's is is found uh, relative to to whatever's calling it instead of relative to root we want it relative to whatever's calling it so the html file may may call um, you know the static folder but it's not calling it off of root it's calling it based on where it is in the hierarchy so we can move it up or we can move it down but we don't want to just arbitrarily slash it onto the root uh, system so we don't want it to be you know our root domain and then immediately assume that the static file is right there it may be in our distribution folder as a matter of fact it would be in our distribution folder no normally and therefore that's how everything gets messed up so we remove that from our assets published path and now everything is relative to the document that's calling it um, and, and that that really fixes all of that so we've, we've changed that now we've got instead of it coming out as a disk file uh, that's that's really a disk folder which is really kind of unusable now it's going to come out as the folder that we're actually going to use and then we need to make sure in our HTML that anything that is looking for packages is not referenced to the root. Um, so we'll take this CSS file and we'll reference it to whatever's calling it. There we go. Now our HTML file is going to look at static and reference to where the HTML file is. Since the HTML file is going to be the home position of that folder, it's going to look for the static folder in the home position of that folder, no matter what the name is. If we have the slash in front of it, it's going to look at it relative to root, which means that the static folder will not be found because it's actually inside a folder off of root. Um, if I'm getting confusing, just put it in the comments and I'll see if I can explain it better. But this is, this is how we're going to ensure that everything can be found when we actually push it up to a website. So now we've got everything changed, and that was to go into the config and change those three items in the index.js file, and then to make sure that our HTML file is not referencing anything off of root. Uh, simply making sure it references 
to its position, the HTML file, to wherever you want it to look within our distribution folder. All right, so once we've done that, we can uh, go ahead and build our project, and we'll let that build for a second. And instead of getting a DIST distribution folder, now we get the actual folder name of what we're going to send it as. So now we've got our crypto compare folder, and that's the folder that we're going to actually distribute it as. And then, and I'm using WebStorm, you can use your own. We can pump that up to your website, and actually, it, it's actually usable in that folder anywhere in the hierarchy of your website. So our static, our, our, our single page applications can now be developed really quickly. They can be compiled. They can be compiled into the folder that you're going to put them up on the website and to shove them up. And now you've got your section of that website for whatever purpose. Maybe it's a, a reporting service or maybe it's a, let's say, uh, you need some kind of database lookup or you need some kind of customer management system. Normally, those are subsections within your website, not right off the main page uh, to make so that your employees or your vendors or your customers can use your website in a meaningful manner than other than just a advertising billboard. Um, so, so now we've got it. Uh, I'm going to use WebStorm here and I'm going to, I've already set up my, my website so that I can, I can FTP back and forth. And this is actually using S, uh, 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 secure FTP. Um, because I, I use the EC2 website from Amazon, and let me know if you need to, any information on how to set those up. Um, but, but now I've got my website there. All I have to do is I can either, I can either upload to the site, because it, it knows which, which site I'm looking for, uh, or I can just copy and paste, copy and paste. And it's uploading to the file. I could have, uh, I could have just simply, uh, deployed it as it were or upload it but now it's in there now we've got our crypto compare uh, uh, folder in there and it's just gonna work so we can look at let's see I've already looked at it before so so now it's just working so we've got everything set we can set it as a subfolder within our website and we don't have to worry about where it's located, how it's going to access it, what connects to what, and, and where the root is relative to our package. It's as simple as that. Now you've got a deployable view uh, package, web package. You've seen how to change it. Those four steps, we're going to change the, the index.js uh, file, which is in the config. And you're going to change the actual HTML file so that anything inside those the HTML file references based on the, the HTML file, not on root of your of your actual uh, uh, root domain name. Um, now, hopefully that gets you what you need on that. Uh, be sure to subscribe. I'll be pumping these out a bunch. So uh, like, dislike, put it in the comments. Any constructive criticism, I'd love to hear. Um, other than that, have a good one, and I hope this helps you out in some way. If you're trying to figure out how to distribute your web packed view application. Thanks. Bye.